What's up, y'all? Billy from Permapastures Farm. Just in time, huh? How about that? Well, in our case out here, and I know a lot of other people are dealing with exactly the same thing, we've had a 30 degree, it went basically from 42 and dropped 30 degrees in just a matter of four hours. Accident? I don't buy it. But check out our pimp cast, our podcast, to find out the reasons why. Okay. I know a lot of you, like us, have a lot of animals out there, and your compulsion is that you care for your animals. You're going to be, look, no two ways about it. You're going to be on your bicycle for the next couple of days while this thing goes through. So there's no getting around to that. But just like when you're on an aircraft and they tell you to go ahead and put on your mask first before you put on the infant next to you, same thing applies with your water. So a lot of people have these things like we got here where you got a well and uh, you got a little cap over it or maybe it's a well house, whatever the case may be. One of the simplest ways to go about doing this is what we got right here. It's been on there since last night. Here you go. A simple incandescent light bulb right up in here and it's down at the base so the heat rises all the way through there. So incandescent light bulb under here there, believe it or not, it's supposed to be down like here. Uh, the ambient temperature somewhere around two degrees, wind chill considerably lower than that. I know this seems like common sense to a lot of people, but for a lot of people it isn't. So with a simple, remember, incandescent, don't go putting any, um, um, oh shoot, one of those high efficient bulbs. You need the old fashioned Edison type incandescent light bulbs so it can put off the heat. This one in here is about a 75 watt if I remember correctly, and that's gonna be sufficient. So water, water, water. Clearly everybody knows in your house, you know, let the faucet leak a little bit. But if you got, if you're exposed to the outside, it could even be that situation like when we lived in Kansas, where let's say you have um, rural water coming through, you could even, depending on that location, you could even put that light bulb down in that area. It'll keep it from freezing. And I'm talking like really, really, really bad stuff. Now, okay, I know you're concerned about your animals, but I kid you not, he's got literally frozen ice on the outside of him. He won't even go get warm. He loves this stuff. Ain't that right, milk boy? There's a reason you're the greatest Pyrenees. All right, so with that said, we're gonna go down here and talk about what we do with the other animals. All right, another little thing that we have, especially for these cold days, honey, tell them what you got there. Uh, we've got some comfrey that we dried back in the summertime. So we gave some to the bull and we're also gonna get some to the sheep. Another good way to get in a lot of those minerals because comfrey, once again, bioaccumulates all that good stuff. So, it's, yeah, so they're gonna be digging. It's also high in protein too. Right, so that's another good thing. Right now is not the time to be skimping on the minerals. I mean, we have went overboard in terms of charcoal because in the winter time, that's what we use for the pigs and dried comfrey, all that good stuff. That's why we sell so much of it, y'all, because we really do use it now. Regarding their water and back there, the bull's water over there, I'm not even gonna kid y'all. On days when it's this doggone cold, when right now it's, it's probably under 10 degrees when it's this doggone cold you're gonna have to look keep it real you're gonna be on your bicycle meaning you're gonna be down here dealing with water issues as long as this weather persists it means we don't get any sleep it means we do what we got to do and that's the nature of this life so those of you that are considering and we've talked about it at length honestly in our last podcast if you're thinking about getting into this life, you got to remember this part of the equation. You always see the idyllic, wonderful, scenic type things, but these are the things that a lot of people don't convey or really don't even think about conveying because honestly, doing this sort of thing is not cool. Um, well, when I say it's not cool, well, this part of it is very seldom discussed, but this is the hard reality of it and this is what you got to do. All right, so chicken same thing down there we got a vacuum if you have them in the chicken tractor on steroids remember just stick it on top of that pile they're going to be fine if you got them out and about like this we're just simply going to have to change out the water so here's one of the old tried and true techniques take you some rice my mother-in-law used to make these for me especially you know when you do the kind of work i used to do you're out in this stuff all day you know hours and hours on end and you don't get away from it so here's one way, if you ever have a place on the job, just take it, put it in a sock. If you have, I mean, clearly, you know, there's a whole lot of sock here. I'll just tie a knot in the end of it. And this thing is very clean. 
and let me show you what to do with it. Put it in here, we'll start off in a minute. Last thing you want to do is burn that. All right, now check this out. Now here are the conventional hand warmers and I have, I have some of these on hand. These last and they work, no doubt about it, but they cost money. This here, I mean, this thing's as warm as can be. You stick it down in your little pouch here and then even with your gloves on, you can put your hands around it so you maintain some warmth. The only difference is this gives off a little bit of moisture, which is a little bit dangerous depending on the conditions. So, but you can use this over and over and over again just stick it up in there, put your hands on it, especially got to be out there for long. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you the last little trick here. William wanted to film this inside. <laughs> Frankly, I can't blame him. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned up in Alaska. If you want, you can take those same things with the, um, with the, the hand warmers, the homemade hand warmers. You can do that, or you can use the store-bought ones. And you can find these. These are Arctic mittens, and they're really special especially if you got to work outside and you're going to need the dexterity of your fingers well obviously doing all that in mittens ain't going to work out but what you can do because these things are so incredibly insulated you put your warmer down in there and i'm telling you what this whole thing this whole thing is absolutely warm now let me point out another thing about these gloves that i absolutely love man this fire is about to roast me half to death so here's a couple of things we do this is another one of them little army tricks. You make dummy cords around it, okay? So my hands are in here. You don't need the thumbs necessarily. You can put all of your fingers inside the pouch that is right there. Now, there's deer fur on the outside of it. And the cool thing about it is no matter how cold it is outside, this is always room temperature. So I know it seems disgusting, but if you ever have to wipe your nose, which you're almost always certainly gonna do, you can leave your hands in here, keep them nice and warm, you wipe your nose, it's at room temperature. And then when you take your gloves off, you can just sling them off like so. And then I got my work gloves. I got these maxi flexes underneath, not the best thing in the world, but even if you had a pair of thick leather gloves, you still got so much room in these things. And then the cool thing is they have these little snaps on them. You can snap them behind you while you're doing your work. You can snap them behind you, blah, 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 blah. You get your work done, okay? Unsnap them, pull them around, Put your hands right back in there, okay, y'all? These are some pretty cool tricks to keep yourself warm when it's cold. Remember that acronym also, COLD, C-O-L-D. Keep it clean, avoid overheating, loosen in layers, and keep it dry. You do those things, you're gonna be squared away, but these are some cool tricks. But remember, start with yourself first, see to your animals, you know the deal. All right, y'all, if you need some of the comfrey we talked about, bone sauce, perfect time of the year to put that stuff on right now because there are no leaves on the trees, on your fruit trees. World's best deer repellent, any of that kind of stuff, check us out at the website or check us out down below. We'll try to leave a link for some of these. If you're going, I know it's a, it seems a little bit late, but honestly, these are handy to have. We used them up in Alaska, so they work. All right, y'all, hopefully this has been a blessing to you. Until next time, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, where permaculture is my passion and I gotta get away from this fire. We'll see you next time. <laughs>